All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn accessibility by building a quiz, step 28. So now we're gonna give each field set an adequate name attribute, then we're gonna give both, un pardon me, both unordered lists a class of answers list. And then finally, we're gonna use the legend to caption the content of the field set by placing a true false question as the text content. Okay, <clears throat> so first we're gonna do some uh, name and then class attributes. So first we're gonna come over here to this uh, field set. We're gonna do a space after that and we're gonna say name equals this. And then we'll say in here, uh, Q1, how about that? And then we'll copy it from here, from the uh, double quote all the way to the arrow. And then we'll put it down here after this double quote on the second field set. And then we'll just change the one to a two. How about that? Uh, after that, we're gonna give both unordered lists a class of answers list. So let's go to the UL right here. Class equals answers hyphen list. All right. And we'll take it from the L over to the arrow. And then we'll go to the second UL and we'll throw it right in there. All right, so now these two are taken care of. Now we're gonna finally use the legend caption to con the legend to caption the content of the field set. Okay, so we're just gonna say uh, a true false question here. So in this one, let's put uh, CSS stands for cascading style sheet. Oops. There we go. And down here we'll put something like uh, HTML stands for hot mail. <laughs> All right. And it looks good over here. Uh, let's test it out. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 29 and we'll see you next time.